Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Demco Stay and Play Duo Supplemental Braking System. When it comes to setting up a flat toe, picking out the right supplemental braking system uh, is a really important decision. You know, this could really make or break your experience, you know, whenever you're pulling your vehicle behind your motorhome. And what these are going to do, these are going to apply the brakes in your towed vehicle whenever you hit the brakes in your motorhome. That way you're not just relying on your RVs braking, uh, you know, brakes to slow everything down. It's gonna have some help from the supplemental braking system. I've installed probably 150, 200 uh, flat toe setups or done that many. And there's a braking system I keep coming back to time and time again, and it is the Duo. Uh, honestly, I've probably installed all the braking systems that we carry. There might be one or two that have kind of slipped through the cracks, but for the most part, I've done them all. And like I said, I keep coming back to this one, and I feel like a lot of the guys in the shop would agree with me too. Very, very rarely do we ever have issues with these. Um, barely ever see them come back, you know, after miles and miles of flat towing. We don't see these come back and with any issues. So super reliable and i feel like that's really important you know you're not trying to deal with problems you just want to set everything up real quick and hit the road and enjoy yourself so uh, that's why i keep leaning on this one you know they just flat out work uh, with that said too this particular system i've probably put on 50 cars if i had to guess i've done a lot of them and i've yet to come across a vehicle that this did not work with um, you know, from kind of oddball vehicles all the way up to the common ones, your Jeeps, your uh, small pickup trucks, your uh, Honda SUVs, things like that. This all works with those. And even lately, uh, what I've been seeing probably in the last year or two is hybrids. A lot of hybrids kind of getting more and more popular now, you know. So um, I've done quite a few hybrids as well and yet to come across one again that this didn't work with. A uh, perfect example of that, just last week I did a new Jeep, uh, the 4xe. The system went on perfectly. A lot of Escape uh, hybrids. This works real well. The, the C-Max, kind of all the popular ones, the flat toe, I've done on. And system just works out. So talking about all my personal experience with the vehicle side and, you know, this working with all the ones that I've done. Um, you know, I just want to talk about, is this going to work with your motorhome? And as long as your motorhome has hydraulic brakes, the system will work just fine, um, regardless of the make and model or whatever of, of your motorhome. Um, if your motorhome has air brakes, uh, the system is not gonna be compatible with it. So um, not really a huge deal, actually. Demco makes another system pretty much identical to this, but it's um, specifically for those motorhomes with air brakes. It's called the Air Force One. Again a lot of luck with it shares a lot of the same benefits and features and everything as this one does so i just wanted to kind of touch base on that before we get too deep if you happen to have a motorhome with air brakes all uh, that air force one system might be one uh, worth checking out so a couple of the big questions that people are always kind of wondering about when it comes to the braking systems uh, one of them is how easy is it going to be to set up you know it's going to take up a bunch of your time or anything like that and with this system, essentially there's two steps, super easy. We got two steps. One of them is you're gonna have a tether, this uh, cord here for your breakaway switch. You're simply just going to connect it uh, to the breakaway switch. And then the other end of it will just go onto your motorhome switch. And then all you're gonna have to do is come inside of your vehicle and simply activate the system. So you have this G-Force controller, it's what they call it. Turn the switch on when you're ready to flat tow. When you're all done, turn it off. So really, I mean, anyone can do this, right? And, um, you know, even if you do want to make some small adjustments, you can. It's super easy. That's what this knob is for, so you can adjust the sensitivity. So if you feel like, you know, your car is not uh, braking as aggressively as you'd like, you can always turn this knob um, uh, to more sensitive which is down, or if it's coming on a little too hard, you can always turn it up to less sensitive. So like if you have a real small car, usually you can get away uh, with making it less sensitive because a motorhome can cover a lot of it. You don't really need super aggressive braking. 
But then on the other hand, if you got, you know, a big heavy truck or something, you can always make it a little more sensitive and make it come on a little bit stronger. So really straightforward. And like I said, it works with so many different vehicles. Um, you know, having that knob, you can kind of fine tune it if you want and uh, make your experience a little bit better. So one of the reasons uh, the system is so easy and quick to set up is because it is a permanent type system. So what that means is the actuator cylinder here that actually pushes down on your car's brake pedal will stay with the vehicle. The G-Force controller stays with it, even the main operating unit. So that's why everything's so streamlined. So the way the system is gonna work, you know, whenever it activates and turns on and you're hitting the brakes in the motorhome, this actuator cylinder is actually going to uh, apply pressure in a sense to your brake pedal and hit the brakes in your in your towed vehicle just to kind of give an example of that i'll go ahead and activate our braking system see when it kicks on it'll apply pressure to the brake pedal and get things slowed down other big question is how's it going to feel you know how are you going to live with this how's it going to perform and everything else and this system is a proportional type braking system so essentially what that means is Whenever you stop, your motorhome and your vehicle are gonna stop as one unit or in tandem. You know, you're not gonna feel your car dragging whenever you hit the brakes or trying to push the motorhome when you hit the brakes. And having driven uh, a lot of flat toes with different types of braking systems, um, I'm not gonna lie, all the proportional type ones um, feel very similar. You know, they're right on par with each other. Uh, but there's other ones that are called time delayed and essentially it's the same amount of braking pressure every time after a certain length of time that you're on the brake pedal here in the motorhome. With those, those work fine. There's nothing wrong with them, but there is a difference. You know, you definitely can feel a difference uh, in terms of when you're hitting the brakes. And so just to kind of, um, you know, elaborate on that a little bit more, just kind of give you some examples uh, with this proportional type system. Let's just say if Let's say if you're, you're driving down the road and maybe there's a stoplight up ahead or something like that. And you know, you get on the brake pedal about halfway and kind of just come up to a normal stop. Your brakes and your towed vehicle are gonna do the same thing. So they'll match that pressure and match that intensity and everything else. Um, on the other hand, let's just say if maybe you're going down the highway, there's a crash or, or some type of emergency up ahead and you really have to kind of stand on that brake pedal and slow things down quick. Uh, your flat towed vehicle is going to do the same thing. So like I said, overall, it's just going to give you a little more confidence knowing everything's working in conjunction and working together at, as opposed to working against each other. And, you know, it just makes the braking experience that much more predictable. And when, you know, you're experiencing that, it gives you a little more confidence uh, whenever you're going down the road. We're going to kind of uh, just talk about some of the smaller features that uh, this system has. One of them is a breakaway switch, which is this piece here. That's where your tether is going to get connected to. More or less, this is just a safety device. Um, in the event of an unlikely disconnect, you know, if you were to come separated from your motorhome, this pin would pull out and the braking system would activate, applying the brakes in your towed vehicle to uh, help slow it down and kind of get things back under control. On the back of your mirror, generally speaking, this is where you put it, you're also gonna have an indicator light. So whenever the braking system activates, they're going to illuminate red. And that's just kind of a quick way to keep an eye on things to make sure that the braking system is indeed turning on. If the indicator light that we just showed you uh, isn't enough for you and you want a little more information, there's another system essentially identical to this one with one exception, that's that indicator light instead of that. Uh, it's called the wireless coach link. And essentially you would move the indicator light up into your motorhome. So it's a little monitor that you plug into a 12 volt outlet and it does the same thing. Just whenever you hit the brakes, you can see the light right here as opposed to on the front of your towed vehicle. So, you know, that's always an option for you too if that's something you think you'd like a little bit better. Some people ask if a braking system is absolutely necessary. And in some special circumstances, it's not, you know, because I'm speaking in terms of uh, legality, you know, uh, there's a couple of states and, uh, you know, with certain real small vehicles that you don't absolutely need a braking system to stay legal. But generally speaking, most vehicles uh, and, and most of the country is going to 
require one uh, by law and it you know as time keeps moving forward too a lot of them are changing over to adapt that policy so you know having a braking system is going to keep you legal and not even really that you know it's it's really just about your safety and your overall experience you know if you can drive with more confidence and keep not only yourself and your family safe but others around you uh, that's worth it uh, in my book and you know just in case if you're new to flat towing and still trying to figure all this out um, i know it can be kind of overwhelming but um, there's there's really going to be five main parts that that you're going to need to get most setups kind of on the road and going one of them is going to be your base plate and what this is going to do is provide you with a solid and reliable attachment point that way you can hook your tow bar up to it so the tow bar is going to be your next component and this is going to be that physical link that actually connects the front of your vehicle to the back of your motorhome third main part will be your safety cables and these are there in the event um, of an unlikely disconnect keep everything connected right uh, fourth main part will be your tow bar wiring and what that's going to do is transfer the lighting functions from the back of your motorhome to the back of your towed vehicle and last but not least we have our supplemental braking system and um, as you guys know uh, you're well aware um, you know this is going to help slow things down whenever you're whenever you're going down the road and there is one more thing that i like to recommend with just about every single flat tow setup uh, especially with this braking system and that is a battery charge line kit. Demco actually makes one. Um, and essentially what that's gonna do is keep your battery, your towed vehicle kind of topped off and, and charged up because when this braking system operates, it uses your vehicle's battery. So over time, you know, it could slowly start to drain your vehicle's battery. And obviously you don't want that. Um, so that's where using a charge line kit would uh, solve that issue and give you the confidence to know when you're done flat towing and you want to disconnect, you can start up your car without any problems. With all that said though, you know, if you're still kind of unsure about this system and wondering if it's going to be exactly what you need or what you're looking for, because maybe let's say you don't flat tow all the time or you like to change your towed vehicles up, um, a portable system might be a better option. You know, they, you can bounce them around, take them out of the car. Uh, they do require a little more setup time. But it's really just gonna be gonna depend on what you're looking to do, right? Um, if a portable one interests you, uh, personally, I recommend the Blue Ox Patriot 3. I think it's a, a really good system. But you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to a permanent type braking system and your RV has hydraulic brakes, like I said earlier, this is always my go-to. This is always the one I recommend. Um, it just flat out works, you know. And even when it comes to the installation. Uh, usually nine times out of ten this is probably one of the easier ones to do in terms of other comparable type braking systems so um, it is doable uh, don't get me wrong there is some wiring and stuff and it's a little time consuming but the good news is you do it one time and you have the benefits of it being super easy to use and live with uh, from there on out I am hoping I was able to provide you guys with some of the information you're looking for and answer some of those questions and at the very least kind of get you going in the right direction when it comes to choosing a braking system. But thanks for watching. And that'll finish up our look at of the Demco Stay and Play Duo Supplemental Braking System.